In this Olive video editing tutorial for version 2, I will show you how to do some basic colour corrections or colour gradings. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of editing um, with the video editors like um, Olive, but I will just go through a few things if you're new. Um, so the first thing I always do with most of my editors, the ones I tend to use, is I'll just drag the clip into the project bin. It's the easiest way to bring a video in. And now in Olive, you've got a couple of options, but I would just drag the clip into the timeline and you've got some options you can set the parameter up manually I won't go into that you should find that the automatic detect parameters works um, most of the time so select automatic detect parameters for footage um, and as you can see with this um, video we have a color balance problem low light usually creates this kind of blue hue um, so in olive at present i'm not aware of any white balance available um, you need to perhaps check uh, over the months whether they include this but you can still sort this out using the node editor um, so with your clip selected make sure it's selected go into the node editor and then press the little plus button up here or select the little plus button and next to color select OCIO color grading linear and drag this in over the video clip now if you go to the parameters editor this little button up here you should see the OCIO color grading. So you've got some options here. Now, the first thing you can see with this video is it's very blue. So your options, they're a little bit limited, but forget the contrast offset. I'd go for the exposure and, and then, depending on the color you want to adjust, just move your exposure to a position you want to sort of get your video selected to so I think that's about right so take this down to about there now I also think this is a little bit I think the red is a little bit not right so I'm going to just change the red a little bit drag it down very slightly and maybe take just the green no i think we leave the green alone now you can also start mucking around with the contrast and saturation and other points on this um if you're going to change the contrast select the white number one and move the contrast to sort of change how you want your video to look so move it up a bit should sharpen it that's looking good you can also increase the exposure which is like a kind of brightness by moving the number one so that's about bright and just muck around with these as you go now there is the option to use um key points because but I, i'm not going to go into that um there's other tutorials you can find for uh, using key um, markers because what you'll find with this video is it does change very slightly to this point here so if you're going to be really fussy you might want to try and match this point up to the beginning but for now I think that will do and the only other thing is you need to render your video so got a few ways of doing this come up to file export media 
and it'll tell you literally what you need to know this is coming at 50 frames per second as my old camera used to work on um the aspect ratio is correct so the only thing you can do here is perhaps give it a title decide where you're going to save it as well we'll call this um i don't know c g1 for color grade decide where we're going to save it let's go on the desktop and select save and then export and once this is finished I'll show you what the video looks like so this is the video as I corrected it from the original it's not perfect I could have spent more time working on it but as you can see is a vast improvement on the original hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers